What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Urban Platform Speaks. Make sure to like and subscribe as you come into the channel. Check out the content. And with that being said, I want to I want to talk about Jason Whitlock recently uh, was speaking about Shannon Sharp on his show and, and the, the job that Shannon Sharp did as far as interviewing Kamala Harris. You know, Kamala Harris is running for president of the United States. And so, but Jason Whitlock was more so focused on Shannon Sharp's outfit. <coughs> and so, excuse me. And so he, you know, he said that Shannon Sharp had on a really tight suit with the chest, you know, with the chest area open and really tight pants, no, no socks. And he, and Jason Whitlock called it a onesie. And so, now, to me, I mean, you know, everybody knows how how Shannon, you know, the way Shannon Sharp dressed. You know, he he do wear tight clothes, and and and, and you know, he he's known for not wearing any socks with his shoes, and so I, you know, that's his style. But and I think maybe you know maybe Jason Whitlock is hating on Shannon Sharp because I think that a more important a more important point was to me. It's like now that these candidates are going on to these podcasts and these podcasts, it just shows the power of, you know, people having these platforms and podcasts. And a lot of people don't have interview interviewing experience when it comes to dealing with politicians and powerful business people like these, you know, politicians are very media savvy. And so when when politicians go on to these platforms and they are able to inform influence the people that are, you know, the people that are watching these these uh, politicians on on your platform, then that's that's a more serious issue to me than what Shannon Sharp, you know, had on. And I think maybe Jason Whitlock was probably a little bit jealous because Carmen Hurst didn't feel the need to go to his platform. But Jason Whitlock's platform is not, you know, he don't have as many viewers and the reach right now that uh, Shannon Sharp had. So Kamala Harris decided to go to, to Shannon Sharp's, right? But it, with that being said, I think that even with Kamala Harris going to Shannon Sharp's platform, she's still only like that first, the first, I'm not, I don't know what the numbers are now, right? But that first day, I think she got like a half a million views on that show, on Shannon Sharp's show. Whereas though Donald Trump went to the Joe Rogan show and Joe Rogan was up around, you know, he was up around 10 million after that first day. And so, you know, like that 10, when you got a half a million, then you have somebody else doing uh 10 million. That's, that's a big, you know, that's a wide gap. So I'm thinking that she, she may, it might be an, Kamala Harris's best interest maybe to go to Joe Rogan show because you know that's that's where she'll get a lot of her viewers at. Now they're saying that her voters, most of her voters and the people that she want to appeal to, would be watching the Shannon Sharp show. But I think some of her voters too probably watch Joe Rogan. I think Joe Rogan have Joe Rogan and Shannon Sharp probably have like a crossover. I would call it like a crossover type connection where they can relate to, you know, I mean, relate to people from all demographics. And so I'm thinking because the numbers were not there, I think that it'll probably be, like I said, in Kamala Harris's best interest to go to Joe Rogan's show and do an interview. Um, and on top of that, Joe Rogan is, you know, he's, 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 um, I would consider him like a friendly, like a friendly place for her to go to. It's not like it's going to be a hostile environment at Joe Rogan's, you know, people thought that maybe Donald Trump wouldn't want to go to Joe Rogan's because that, that would, Joe Rogan was, was definitely, he wanted to push back on some things that Donald Trump had said, but I think it'll be an easier interview for Kamala Harris, you know, than it was for Donald Trump if she goes to Joe Rogan. Um, and so it, it, it is just going to show that people now, like in this, this podcasting uh, situation, like people have to get more, you know, and, it, and it's young for, uh, you know, for people who are doing podcasts who don't have that kind of media training and, and you know, so they can ask like the, the pertinent questions that that 
that people want to know when it comes to interviewing people like Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. You know, you just can't get up there and just let them take over your show and give them a whole bunch of softball questions. So that's, you know, that's that's cool, though, that, you know, uh, just ordinary people with podcasts are getting the opportunity to interview people like Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Um, who else interviewed Kamala Harris? She did a she interviewed with all the smoke, right? And again, I felt like she basically took over their podcast and and took the podcast in the direction that she wanted to go to, instead of them being able to you know to tie her down to certain issues and and find out some things that people wanted to um, you know wanted to ask. But it's it's all a learning process, you know. So I'm not criticizing. Um, the guys from All the Smoke. I'm not criticizing Shannon Sharp. I think, you know, as people gain more experience, um, I think they'll, you know, they'll they'll know how to interview these politicians and and you know, and, and like I said, don't give them softball questions, but ask them questions and and challenge them on some issues that people really want to know about. And so when Jason Whitlock is worried about Shannon Sharp outfit. You know, uh, I think I think, you know, there's more important things to be c concerned about uh, than than, uh, you know, what Shannon Sharp had on. And that's my take on it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. With that being said, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the Shannon Sharp interview with Kamala Harris. And I will check you all out in the next video. Peace.